making music, it's uh, incredible. It's like the highest form of meditation for me. You know, you don't drift at all. You just like focus right away, concentration. Dhyan, what we call dhyan, it's focus, you know, and when your mind is focused, it's a very, very uh, deep experience. As if like finding yourself and whatever you're looking for. In our tradition, it's the, you know, there is a concept of bandish. Bandish means a composition. And bandish is the main core of Indian classical music tradition that you only learn from in the gharana or if you are a disciple of somebody. It's a different thing when you learn something by listening or if somebody teaches you because just one line has 20 other joys that you are missing from just if you try to learn from the recording because you only hear what you hear. But then the creator of it or somebody who knows will show you, okay, here is this another way, here is another way and you see, wow, you know, it's like an ocean of joy. If there is no heart, there is no heart, there is no soul. So that goes with the music. If you play something with heart, then it would be very soulful and it will always be nice to the audience. That's why Indian music, it's not like a pre-rehearsed, composed, all set that you will spill out on the stage, you know, it's just like, so much to do with the warmth of the audience and what you're gonna do and who is there. And it usually takes 30, 40 minutes to warm up and get really musical. But usually, as my teachers used to say to me that you have to surrender to the music. Forget about who you are and who what is, you know, unless you surrender to the music, then the real music will start. The journey of reaching to the perfection is what is truth, you know. And that's because it's very, how perfect you want to be, you know. There's no end to perfection. 